In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute Halloween pumpkin jack-o'-lantern wrister. It is just adorable and it's super easy to make and super cute. And you will need three colors of yarn. I used orange, green, and black. And the perfect colors for Halloween. And if you would like to learn how to make this wrister, please join me in this tutorial and I will show you how to make it. So it's it's called a wrister because the cuff covers your wrist and you have the decorative pumpkin that is on the top of your hand attached to the cuff. It is not a glove or a mitten, but it leaves your you know the palm of your hand free and your fingers, but it's just more decorative, but it will keep your wrist warm. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a magic ring. Okay, and into the center of the magic ring, we are going to do six single crochets. So one, two, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that and close up my magic circle, and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. So you can count back six single crochets to make sure you're in the right place. One, three, four, five, six. This is the first one. And then join with the slip stitch. Okay, so that is round one. So for round two, we are going to do chain one. And you're going to do two single crochets in every single stitch. So when you're done with round two, you should have 12 single crochets. So we just do two single crochets in each stitch. Okay, so I'm going to stop and count my stitches to make sure I have 12 single crochets. Perfect, that's 12. So I'm going to join with the slip stitch to that first single crochet when we begin round when we begin round two. Round three, go ahead and chain one, and then we're going to do a single crochet right back into that same stitch. And then you're going to do two single crochets into the next one. One single crochet into the next. Then in the next one, do two single crochets. One single crochet into the next and two single crochets. So we're just um, alternating between one single crochet and then two single crochets, then one, then two, then one, then two, and you're going to do that all the way around. So that's one, two, this one will have two, one, two, one, Two, and you should have 18 single crochets when you're done. And you're going to join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet when you begin the round. Okay, so you want to keep going. And for round four, chain one, do a single crochet into that same stitch, and then one single crochet into the next. Into the next stitch, you will do two single crochets into the same stitch. The next two stitches will have one single crochet each. Next stitch, do two single crochets. Next two stitches, do one single crochet each. Then the next one will have two. So, okay, next two stitches, one single crochet each. Next one will have two single crochets. Then one in the next two stitches will have one single crochet each. This stitch here will have two single crochets. And then the next two stitches will have one single crochet in each. And then this last one will have two single crochets. You should have 24 stitches when you're done with this round. And then join with a slip stitch to that first stitch you did when you began round three. So that's what it looks like so far. Round four, chain one. 
single crochet right back into that same stitch and then the next two stitches we'll have one single crochet next one do two single crochets into the same stitch next three stitches one single crochet each next stitch we'll have two single crochets into that same stitch next three stitches do one single crochet each okay next stitch we'll have two single crochets into the same stitch next three stitches one single crochet and then two single crochets into the same stitch for the next one next one two next three stitches do one single crochet in each stitch next three stitches we'll have one single crochet each next one we'll have two single crochets and when you're done with this round you should have 30 single crochets what we want to do here is it's almost big enough so the last round when you decide when it's almost big enough to fit your hand, we're going to do something a little bit different. So we're going to chain one and we're going to do a single crochet right into this stitch. The next three stitches you'll do a half double crochet. Okay, and then you'll just do single crochets all the way around until you get to the last four stitches and we'll do something a little bit different. Basically, we're going to mirror what we just did here. So, we did a single crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the next three stitches. We're going to do single crochets all the way around until we get to the last four stitches. So, I'll go ahead and put the camera on pause while I do my single crochets. And when I have just four stitches left, I will meet you back here. Okay, so while I had the camera on pause, I continued to do my single crochets until I get to the last four stitches. So the next three stitches, because we're going to mirror what we did over here, the next three stitches will have one half double crochet in each stitch. And then you'll do a single crochet into the next stitch. So there you have, and then you just go and into that first stitch there just do a slip stitch so now you have that little you know how like the pumpkin has that little divot where you put the stem and now that's perfect see how it gives it that shape more like a pumpkin that way so now let's just make sure it's big enough for the top of my hand and it is all right so now we are ready to fasten off with our orange yarn for our pumpkin so I'm gonna go ahead and cut there and I'm just gonna pull that through and that's where we're going to put our little stem. Okay, so you want to weave in your little tails. where the stem's going to go and I'm going to use a little bit of green yarn there and I have this pretty color green perfect for Halloween colors this is the Red Heart Super Saver yarn it's a four ply worsted weight yarn as well just like the orange yarn in this is um, the color is called spring green let's go ahead and begin with a slip knot Okay, and then you just want to attach your yarn here with a slip stitch right into that little divot there. It dips down right in between there. And then attach that with a slip stitch. And then go ahead and chain four. Four. And then into the first, we're going to skip the first chain. So into the next chain which is going to be the second chain from the hook, we are going to do a half double crochet. And then the next stitch, a single crochet. 
And then the next stitch, a slip stitch, and then do a slip stitch back into that same spot where we began. And there is our little stem. How cute is that? Okay, so I'm ready to fasten off. So the stem, so you can see the stem was really easy. Okay, so then just go ahead and pull that through. And then we can just weave in our tails. I'll go ahead and weave my tails in. If you wanted to use this as a pumpkin applique, then you are done at this point. You could use that as an applique, and of course you can make it into a jack-o'-lantern and make the eyes and the nose and the mouth, and I'm going to show you that part as well, because we are going to make the jack-o'-lantern wristers. So that's going to sit over your hand just like that. We're going to make the little eyes and nose and mouth, so the jack-o'-lantern will have a little face on it, and then we'll make the little wristband for our wrist. So... We also need a little loop that's going to go around our finger here. Um, you want to make a little loop that goes around your middle finger. So we're not going to use this part. We're going to attach a little bit of orange yarn behind that stem. So it'll be just like that. So I'll show you that. So go ahead and start with a slip knot with the orange yarn. Okay, and then. I'm just going to attach it to the back loop. Back loop here. See how there's a, a stitch right before the stem and a stitch after? In, instead of inserting it both in, through both loops, I'm going to insert it on the back loop only. And then join with a slip stitch to attach my yarn. Okay, so I am going to chain eight. Okay, and then you see that next stitch right before the stem right there, or right after the stem in this in this case, <laughs> is you're going to insert the hook not through both loops, but just the back loop, and join with a slip stitch to attach. And now you have your little loop that will go over your finger right behind the stem. So go ahead and fit it over your middle finger to make sure it fits comfortably and that is just about perfect the eight stitches there so now I am going to fasten that off since I have my loop already made so I'm just gonna cut that so you can see by putting in the back loops it really kinda hides it really nicely so there you go that's what it looks like pull that through to fasten off give it a tug. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Really cute. So you just need to weave in these tails. So I'll go ahead and put the camera on pause while I weave in those loose tails there. Okay, so while I had the camera on pause, I went ahead and wove in the tails from that little loop. And I'll show you again how that works. And by putting the loops in the back, loops only, when we made the loop for the finger, I think it looks a little bit nicer than if you had gone through both. So that way you really can still see the shape of the pumpkin and it's kind of, that loop is a little bit hidden that way. So I think it looks really good that way. So now let's go ahead and make the part for the wrist. So you can choose at this point if you want to do the wrist with the green or you can even use black yarn if you wanted to. So I am going to use the green yarn for my wrist. So, let's go ahead and set this aside for a moment. So for the green yarn, let's go ahead and join with this slip knot. I'm going to use the same size crochet hook. This is an H85.00 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so I'm going to chain 12. And I mean, you can make this as long as you want. Um, this is for your wrist. You can make it shorter if you want to. Um, but I'm going to go ahead with 12 stitches. And then we're going to skip the first chain. And we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch. So you'll have 11 single crochets.
Okay, so this is, um, I'm just going to measure it because everyone's tension is different. So when everyone, everyone that crochets has a different tension, so yours might be longer or shorter, just depending. So mine measures. almost three inches so that's perfect so um, that's gonna fit just like that and then we're just gonna crochet all the way around Whoop. and then we're just gonna crochet it until to make as long as we need to go around our wrists so at this point you can decide if you want to do it all in green or if you want to alternate colors and add like you know the black yarn in the orange yarn and actually I think that will look adorable so I am actually going to do that so let's go ahead and alternate some colors so I'm going to do the first three rounds with green okay so we're going to do three rows of the green yarn before we switch to another color so I'm going to chain one turn my work and then I'm going to do a single crochet into each stitch working in just the back loops only leaving the front loops unworked so just one single crochet in each stitch working in only the back loops so I'll go ahead and put the camera on pause while I continue to finish my stitches I'm gonna do one more round after this because I want three rounds of green so when I get to the end of this round I'm gonna chain one turn my work and then do a single crochet into each stitch working in to the back loops only. So when I have three rows done of the green, I'll meet you back here. So while I had the camera on pause, I continued to do um, my stitches. I now have three rows of the green. So I'm gonna switch to black yarn now. This is also a four ply worsted weight yarn. This color is black. It is also Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Okay, so let me attach that here. Okay, so now you're going to Okay, so when you're switching colors, what you do is let me just show you this last stitch. So you're going to do a single crochet into that next last stitch here of this row. Insert your hook, pull up a loop. Now don't finish this stitch. Add your new color, okay? And pull that through and finish your stitch with the new color that we're going to use for the next row and then chain one turn our work okay so now we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch for this row working in just the back loops only with the black yarn and we're just going to do one row of the black yarn and then we'll switch to orange yarn okay so now here's that last stitch we're going to be transitioning to another color so I'm going to insert my hook pull up a loop I'm not going to finish the single crochet like I normally would do I'm going to get my new color first then I'll finish the stitch with a new color. So let me go ahead and get the orange yarn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish the stitch with the new yarn color because we're changing to the orange now. So pull that through, chain one, turn our work, and now we are going to do the same thing we did in the previous row and we are going to do one single crochet in each stitch we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch working in just the back loops only and I'm going to hold that orange tail along my work so I can work it in so I won't have to weave it in Just one, just one single crochet into each stitch here, working in just the back loops.
Okay, so I'm going to do three rows of orange yarn here. So I'll go ahead and put the camera on pause while I finish this one and do two more rows of orange. So when I get to the end of this row, I'll just chain one, turn my work, do my second row of orange, chain one, turn my work, and do my third row of the orange with one single crochet working in only the back loops. So I'll go ahead and put my camera on pause while I work up three rows of orange yarn. I went ahead and did three rows of orange yarn. I did not finish the last stitch because we are going to change back over to the black yarn now because we want that contrast in between the colors as we alternate. So we're going to go ahead and start the last stitch but we're not going to finish the stitch with the orange. We are now going to add our black yarn. Pull that through to finish the stitch. And then chain one with the black yarn. And then do one row of single crochet, working in the back loops only with the black yarn. Okay, so I'm not going to finish this last stitch here because we are going to change over to a new color. And I'm sure you can guess the next color is green. We are going to do three rows with the green yarn. And we are still going to do one single crochet working in the back loops only. So let's go ahead and transition to the green yarn. Finish the stitch with the green. Chain one. I'm going to work that tail into my work. And I'm going to do one single crochet into each stitch. I'm going to work in only the back loops. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to do three rows of the green, one single crochet into each stitch. I'm going to do that for three rounds. When I get to the end of the row, I'll chain one, go to the next row, and then chain one and go to the next row. So we're going to do three rows of the green. So I'll go ahead and put the camera on pause while I work up three rows of the green yarn. While I had the camera on pause, I did three rows of the green yarn. I didn't work the last loop. I didn't work I didn't work the last stitch because that's where we're going to change to the black yarn. So I'm going to insert my hook, start my stitch, but I'm not going to finish that single crochet. I'm going to add the black yarn first. Pull that through to finish my stitch there now. Changing to the new color. Chain one. And then you'll just do the same thing over and over again. So we're going to do one row of the black yarn working in just the back loops only, single crochets. So you can see the pattern now. So you'll do one row of the black, then we'll switch to orange, three rows, one row of black, three rows of green, and just keep doing that over and over again, the same pattern. And then when it's long enough to go all the way around your wrist, that's when you're done. So you just keep going until it's long enough to fold over to make a cuff. Okay, so while I had the camera on pause, I just kept crocheting until I had it approximately... Okay, so I just kept crocheting until it fit around my wrist. So I went ahead and put it on my wrist, and actually I only needed it to be about seven and a half inches. So I just crocheted until it was about seven and a half. So that was actually long enough to fit around my wrist for my little cuff here. So now all we need to do, go ahead and sew the cuff together to form a cuff. So you just get some yarn and sew it together. So I'll go ahead and put the camera on pause while I go ahead and sew this together. Okay, so while I had the camera on pause, I went ahead and sewed my cuff together. It fits right over my wrist, just perfectly. And then we would slip this over slip the loop over the middle finger here and then we will sew this pumpkin on to the cuff and then we just need to make a little jack-o-lantern face okay so let's go ahead and make the face for our little jack-o-lantern first so to do that we're going to use black yarn so I'm going to go ahead and start with a slip knot and we're going to make some eyes first Okay, so to make the eyes, we're going to chain three, two, three. And then 
We're going to skip the chain closest to the hook. We're going to work into the second chain and we're going to do a slip stitch into that first one. And then you're going to do a single crochet into the next one. Okay, so that gives you a little pointy eye there. We don't need the eyes to be very big. Okay, so then I'm going to fasten it off. I'm going to leave the tails on because that will allow me to sew the eye on. So let's go ahead and make the second eye, same way, I'll show you again. Okay, so go ahead and make a slip knot. Okay, chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip the first chain closest to the hook. We're going to do a slip stitch into that second chain, just a slip stitch, and then a single crochet into the last stitch, last chain. And there you have your little triangular shaped eye again. Leave that on so we can sew it. All right, go ahead and there's your two eyes. And the nose is the same way. Okay, we need one more for the nose. We're going to do the same thing for the nose. Start with a slip knot. Chain three. Skip the first chain closest to the hook. In the next chain, do a slip stitch. In the next chain, you do a single crochet. And there we have our little nose. Leave a little tail so we can sew it on. And you're going to see some of the stitches in the back, but because we won't see the back when it's placed on the hand, it really won't matter. It really won't matter if you see, you know, some of the work where we sew it on, on the back. Because, you know, that is not going to show anywhere in it. So, no problem. Alright. So, there's our eyes. Let's go ahead and sew on the eyes and then the nose. So, let me get my little darning needle. Start with one eye here. And if you want, you can just kind of make sure that they're even. Okay, so let me go ahead and thread it up here. Place the eye where I... Let me place the eye where I want it here. And just sew that on. Okay, and then you just sew your second eye on and the nose. And the nose is easy. You can just place it right on the center where that, you see that center circle where that magic ring was? You just place it right there. And then I'll sew those on. I'll put the camera on pause while I sew the eye and the nose on, and then I'll show you how to do the mouth. So while I had the camera on pause, I went ahead and sewed the eyes on and the nose. So now you can see that it's starting to look like a little jack-o'-lantern. So now, let's go ahead and make the mouth. Okay, so for the mouth, we are going to switch to a smaller crochet hook. This is going to be a size E or 4, 3.50 millimeter crochet hook. So let's go ahead and start with a slip stitch. Let's go ahead and chain 12. We're going to skip the chain closest to the hook and we're going to do a slip stitch into the next chain. And then you're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. And then slip stitch into the next three chains. And then double crochet into the next stitch. Then slip stitch into the next three chains.
double crochet into the next stitch and then last chain do a slip stitch and there you have your little jack-o-lantern mouth with the little teeth marks <laughs> okay okay so we're gonna go ahead and cut the yarn I'm going to pull that through, fasten off, alright, and then you can just sew on your jack-o'-lantern's mouth and by having those little points that looks like little teeth marks there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and sew that on. So I'll go ahead and put the camera on pause. All you need to do is just line up where you want and go ahead and sew that on and that will be your jack-o'-lantern's mouth. Okay, so while I had the camera on pause, I went ahead and sewed on my jack-o'-lantern's mouth. How cute is that? So now our jack-o'-lantern has a face. So now all we need to do is sew the cuff on. And you want to make sure that you sew it on just the one side, because you want to leave it open to put your hand through. So you want to make sure that when you do that, you want to either, you want to line it up like on the orange there, kind of center. So I'm going to go ahead and get some orange yarn to sew that on. It looks just adorable. <laughs> so cute. So you just line it up, kind of sew it on, and then I would just sew it through the back loops only. You know, I would just sew it on to the back loops only. So just um, find the center here and use just the back loops. I think it will look better that way. Kind of like we did when we did the ring around the finger loop there. Okay, so while I had the camera on pause, I went ahead and sewed on the pumpkin on just the one side so that you can put your hand through it. So you want to make sure that you can still put your hand through so I'm going to show you how it looks now. So let's go ahead and put my hand through on my wrist there. And then I'm going to put the loop over my finger. and. Just how adorable is that? I just love the way it came out. I think it's just super cute. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and like the video. And I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any of my future tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a great day.